I'm afraid it won't be enough for three people to shower. Shall we shower together? Otherwise, there won't be enough water. Not enough water. Then we have no choice but to shower together. Wang Bo saw an opportunity and chuckled. Well, that's that. I guess I'll have to shower with you too. No, just kidding. I'll take a cold shower. Don't let me in, or else don't blame me. Xiao Yu stood at the door teasing him, sticking her tongue out. Wang Bo, tears streaming down his face, muttered, Women's jealousy is indeed frightening. The next morning, Wang Bo stood in the arena with Mia Ru Yun. Wang Bo, I'm ready, come on. I won't go easy on you. Mia Ru Yun said, All right, I won't deliberately go easy on you, just because you're mine. Xiao Yu stood outside cheering, Go for it, Sister Mio. Teach that rotten man a lesson. Let's see if he dares to look at other women again. Don't worry, show you. I'll do my best. With that, Mio Ru Yun rushed forward and delivered a punch. Wang Bo swiftly dodged. Impressive moves, Officer Mio. But your speed isn't keeping up. Wang Bo dodged Mio Ru Yun's second punch, leaned to the side, and countered with a strike. Mio Ru Yun flipped backward landing a kick straight to Wang Bo's chin, causing him to cry out in pain. Ouch, that hurts so much. Seeing Wang Bo at a disadvantage, Xiao Yu exclaimed excitedly, Sister Mio, you're so good at fighting. Wang Bo rubbed his chin. I underestimated Mio Mio too much. You're my wife, how could you be so ruthless? Who told me to underestimate the enemy? I defeated the zombie king. If you don't put in your full effort, it'll be embarrassing. It's just that I found direct combat a bit boring, so I didn't use full force. Mio Ru Yun frowned, unsure of what this person's intentions were, and asked, So tell me, how can the competition be interesting? Wang Bo smirked. Let's make it fun by betting. If you can touch me, then I'll consider it my loss. If you get touched by me three times, tonight you'll have to. At this point, Wang Bo chuckled mischievously, You scoundrel, is that all you ever think about? Xiao Yu interjected from outside, Sister Mio, agree to it. If he loses, he can't look at other women anymore. If Xiao Yu said so, then I agree, but you have to be ready to face the consequences. Wang Bo chuckled, I won't lose, tonight I'll definitely sleep with a beautiful woman. Mio Ru Yun murmured to herself, not good, this guy is setting me up. Wang Bo lunged forward, here, I'm sure to win, tonight you better get ready. Don't get too confident. It's not a sure thing yet. Mio Ru Yun swung her arm forward, but Wang Bo deftly dodged, appearing behind her. Mio Mio, where are you looking? I'm right behind you. Before Mio Ru Yun could react, she felt a hand patting her butt. Blushing, she exclaimed. Ah, you rascal. Xiao Yu, cheering from outside, exclaimed. Wang, you're despicable. Sister Mio, teach him a lesson. Mio Ru Yun aimed the kick backward, but Wang Bo evaded, taunting. Mio Mio, you're too slow. Don't get too confident. This time, I won't dodge. I never said I would. You've been caught by me. Mio Mio. Wang Bo reached out to grab Mio Ru Yun's fist, then leaned in to kiss her. And then, he shamelessly groped her chest. Blushing furiously, she exclaimed, Why are you like this? You're just playing with me. As she spoke, she lifted her leg, aiming to kick Wang Bo's reproductive organs, but he hastily backed away, exclaiming, Mio Mio, you're too cruel. Do you want to ruin my future happiness? Mio Ru Yun angrily retorted, Not killing you with that kick is already merciful. You dare to play with me. I'll teach you a lesson for sure. Advancing, Mio Ru Yun pivoted and delivered a formidable kick, declaring, Wow, what a powerful kick you lose. Wang Bo pretended to be startled, then suddenly burst into a wicked grin. Here, I was just pretending. He reached out, grabbing Mio Ru Yun's ankle, while his other hand lifted her by the shoulder. Mio Mio, you have no chance now. I've won. You can't regret it. Helplessly, Mio Ru Yun tilted her head and nodded. All right, I can play and endure. Xiao Yu, unwilling to concede, exclaimed, It's my turn. I want to bet too. At this moment, applause could be heard. Young one, Captain Zhou didn't praise the wrong person. Your skills are truly excellent. Wang Bo exclaimed in surprise, not expecting Captain Zhou to appear, accompanied by another person. Zhao Xiong introduced, 
Wang Bo, this is Zheng Wei from our group. Wang Zheng Wei, pleased to meet you. I am Wang Bo, on my left is Xiao Yu, and the other is Xiao Miao. The kid here has seen everything. Your skills are indeed exceptional. Oh, no need to be so modest. You're too humble. Xiao Zhao has briefed me about you all. Wang Bo scratched his head awkwardly. What did the team captain say? I actually didn't do anything. Wang Bo broke out in a cold sweat and turned to Zhao Xiong with a signal. Captain, didn't you ask her to help me cover up the fact that I used hacking? Understanding what he meant, Zhao Xiong winked. Don't worry, I spoke with moderation. Thank you, young man. Without you, we would have suffered more casualties. The path of deceit in the apocalypse is rarely traversed by brave souls like you. Ha, it's really quite challenging. And your teammates as well, they are all great benefactors to us. I sincerely thank you. As he spoke, Wang Zheng Wei bowed his head to show appreciation. Wang Zheng Wei, you're truly too modest. In the apocalypse, we should help each other more. Wang Bo is right, we should all lend each other a hand. Haha, <laughs> it's unexpected that you all have the insight of our soldiers. It's commendable. You helped us so much, I will report your deeds. Zhao Xinong opened the red box in his hand. After organizing and hearing everyone's stories, it was decided to award the honorary medals of our army. Mio Ru Yun gasped and covered her mouth. The first class military merit medal. This is the highest honor. We can't refuse. Your actions, each and every one of you, truly deserve this highest honor. These medals are awarded to Wang Bo, Mio Ru Yun, Guan Xiaoyu, Lai the Zhu, and Lai. Xiaoyu couldn't help but feel joyous at receiving her medal, while Wang Bo grew concerned. If he truly accepts the medal, does that mean he's a member of theirs? Not wanting to be confined within the military, Wang Bo quickly spoke up. This reward is truly too much, and we've only helped a little. It's not quite deserving. This is already the best gift we can offer. There's no need to think much about it. It's just an acknowledgement of everyone's contributions, their kindness. We have nothing to repay, so please accept it. Wang Bo didn't refuse and nodded. All right. Will accept it. He reached out to take the wooden box, and whether unintentionally or intentionally, his hand brushed against Zhao Chang's hand. Zhao Xiang's face reddened slightly as he looked at Wang Bo, who returned the gaze with equal intensity. Zhao Xiang quickly withdrew his arm. Accepting it is enough. If there's nothing else, I'll leave first. Wang Bo smiled. You've been busy since your return. We haven't gathered for a while. How about we go somewhere tonight? Mio Ru Yun felt a vague hint in his words and couldn't help but glance at Wang Bo. Wang Zheng Wei spoke up. Seems like everyone knows about Captain Zhao's matter. Wang Bo asked in confusion. What's going on? Oh, you guys still don't know. Comrade Xiao Zhao is about to be transferred to another base to take on a disciplinary role. Xiao Yu asked. You're leaving right after coming back. I still wanted to wrestle with Captain. Zhao Xiang explained helplessly. The other base only has one disciplinary officer, so I have to go there temporarily to take up the disciplinary role. Wang Jingwei sighed. I'm also reluctant. It's a pity there's no equivalent disciplinary officer now. If there were, the current disciplinary officer could have been transferred and Comrade Xiao Zhao could stay. Xiao Yu chuckled. Isn't this simple? With Wang's skills, being a disciplinary officer is easy. Wang Bo blushed and stammered. Xiao Yu. Xiaoyo is right. If Wang Bo agrees, that would be great. With Wang Bo as the new disciplinary officer, our army will be even stronger. Wang Bo's mouth twitched. Mio Mio, please don't tease me like that. I'm scared. If Wang Bo agrees, then it's fine. With me as the new disciplinary officer, our army will truly be formidable. Wang Bo pondered. If I were to take on the role of the educational officer, Perhaps I could still access military intelligence, gathering even more information. With this thought, he immediately responded, Wang Zheng Wei, I've made up my mind. If I can handle it, then it's really good. In that case, you're also one of us now. Zhao Sheng's face clouded. But didn't Wang Bo refuse before? Is it because of me? Wang Bo interjected. But I have a few conditions. I wonder if Zheng Wei would agree. As the evening approached, they all returned to the dormitory. Wang Bo took his medal and pinned it to Xiao Man's chest, saying, Wang, this is rightfully yours. You truly deserve it. 
Thanks to your shooting on the bridge, we managed to take down so many zombies. This reward is definitely yours. Xiao Nan scratched his head sheepishly. I feel embarrassed. Xiao Bao teased. If you feel embarrassed, then give it to me, he. Just kidding, this was given to me by Brother Bo. Xiao Bao chuckled. You're indeed a little timid. Lai touched the metal on his chest and cried. Being a police officer for decades, I never expected to receive this honor even at retirement age. Da Zhu, I have something to tell you. I took the liberty of appointing you as the leader, asked Zheng Wei, to let you join the military. Surprised, right? It was Wang who requested Zheng Wei for you. Your military rank now is a squad leader, but you weren't a soldier before. Da Zhu thought he misheard. Really becoming a squad leader directly? Da Zhu, didn't you always say you were a special forces soldier before? This time it's for real. But if you join the military, won't you always be by Brother Bo's side? Joining isn't a bad idea. But Brother Bo is my benefactor. I want to follow him forever. If joining the army affects my work with Brother Bo, I'll withdraw immediately. I still want to learn martial arts from Brother Bo. Da Zhu, you can rest assured. Asking you to join the army is also helping me. In fact, I'm their educational officer now, responsible for training shooting and wrestling for recruits. Da Zhu became excited. Is that true? Brother Bo is also joining the military? But you know, every seven days I have to leave for seven days. When I'm not here, you have to train the recruits in my place. This shouldn't be a problem, but I'm still not as capable as Brother Bo. Right, Wang has to leave for seven days, no problem. What Brother Bo has taught you is enough to be an instructor. Encouraged by everyone, Da Zhu stood up straight before Wang Bo, reporting, I will definitely complete the mission well. Xiao Yu suddenly approached Wang Bo, squeezing his hands with hers. Wang, can't you stay with us forever? Or take me and Mio back with you? Wang, I know you don't want to leave us, but you have agreed with others, so you must return to fulfill your promise. I agree with everyone that you should return on time. Xiao Yu, I know you don't want Wang Bo to leave, but he has a reason to go back. Let's not make it difficult for him. Besides, we can still live without him. Mio Mio, you're getting more stubborn every day. Without him, we wouldn't make it. Warning. The following passage contains sensitive content. Individuals under 18 please be cautious. In the evening, Wang Bo turned on the hot water tap. Indeed, hot water baths are the most comfortable. So are you two not ready yet? Xiaoyu and Miao Ru Yun, wrapped in towels, entered. Xiaoyu spoke firmly. Wang, I'm ready. Come on, keep your promise. Xiaoyu took the lead. Wang Bo reached out to grab her bucks, kissing her for a moment. Xiaoyu blushed and said, Wang, Xiaoyu wants ice cream. Having spoken, Xiaoyu knelt in front of Wang Bo, pouting. Wang Bo said, All right, I'm ready. Seeing Miao Ru Yun still standing there, Wang Bo reached out, Mio Mio, come over here and take a quick shower too. Watching Xiaoyu enjoying her ice cream, Mio Ru Yun muttered under her breath, Xiaoyu, really indulging in ice cream. Xiaoyu, the ice cream is melting. Ignoring Mio Ru Yun, Xiaoyu continued eating her ice cream. After a while, Mio Ru Yun also loosened her towel. Wang Bo smiled. Finally, you decided to come over here. Tell me, what do you want to do? Of course, it's direct combat. Blushing, Mio Ru Yun asked. Stay here forever. The scene shifted to a battlefield camp. Mio, the war has ended. We can rebuild our home in the apocalypse now. Let's hurry back. Our families are waiting for us. Behind their spaceship, a larger one chased after them. Xiaoyu looked back and shouted, Oh no, it's the enemy. Ha ha. Finally I get to see you. The two bravest women of the righteous front line. Hearing this, Mio Ru Yun couldn't help but be astonished. Is that him? The strongest hunting dog of the empire, Wang Bo. He, enlighten yourselves, beautiful girls. I immediately grant you utter despair. Xiao Yu, distract his attention. I'll find a way to attack him from behind. Xiao Yu shouted clearly and maneuvered the aircraft to the side. Wang Bo smirked, trying to escape. No chance. He immediately activated the weapon system his fingers pressing the button. Two machine guns appeared under his aircraft, continuously firing at Xiaoyu's aircraft. She jerked and groaned. The firepower is too strong. I'm almost done for. Mio Ru Yun shouted loudly, Xiaoyu, keep going. 
Keep it up like this, and your body will soon be numb. Xiaoyu immediately powered up to full capacity. A pink rod protruded, and she gripped it tightly, pressing it down between her legs. I will not lose to this kind of person. Xiaoyu's spacecraft increased its power, almost breaking free from Wang Bo's attack. He laughed loudly. Ha 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 ha, futile, my dear. No one can escape my grasp. His finger once again pressed the G-spot. Surrender, become my defeated pawn. Boom, two cannonballs fired. Xiaoyu softly groaned. Sister Mio, I can't hold on. The next move depends entirely on you. A deafening explosion ensued. Xiaoyu was officially defeated. Now, only Mio Ru Yun remained to fight alongside Wangbo. It's just you now, girl. You can't escape. I won't run away. Pay the price for your arrogance. Mio Ru Yun steered straight towards Wangbo's aircraft. Oh, you want to face me head on. Brave choice. I'll take it all. Come at me. I have nothing to lose anymore. Bring out your strongest attack. Ha ha ha. It's been a while since I felt this excited facing an opponent. Come on, meet my strongest attack. Deploying his strongest force, Wang Bo crazily charged forward. Mio Ru Yun made no attempt to evade, allowing him to attack. What? Not avoiding my attack at all. I won't dodge. Come on, pay for your madness. Let's see who emerges as the ultimate victor. Wang Bo felt slighted, gritting his teeth. Despicable. Someone dares not fear me. I will not be defeated by her. The two aircraft quickly collided, both Wang Bo and Miao Ru Yun releasing satisfied groans simultaneously. Eventually, he managed to subdue Miao Ru Yun. He stood looking at the two girls lying on the bed, waiting for the 12-hour time to return to his world. The next morning, Xiao Yu and Miao Ru Yun stumbled out. Xiao Bao asked curiously, Sister Xiao Yun, Sister Xiao Yu, why are you limping? Is there anywhere uncomfortable? No, Miao Ru Yun replied. Just a little body training last night. Feeling a bit sore today. Exactly, Xiao Yu added. Training all night was exhausting. Let's go have breakfast. At Singwa Mansion, Wang Bo was currently indulging in a frenzy of eating. Lai Ping smirked and offered his dish. If you're still hungry, you can have mine too. Hong Fei inquired. Where did you go yesterday? To the Black Brit Kiln. Why do you seem like you're starving to death? Wang Bo exhaled contentedly, finally full, so happy. Last night, I went somewhere even scarier than the Black Brick Kiln. Wen Qing approached, Wang Bo, after eating, focus on business. You asked me to gather data on Jinbi Group's corporate sovereignty plan. I've completed it excellently. Now let me see what tricks the Lee family has up their sleeves. It's time to show them who they're dealing with. They entered the living room and turned on the projector. Wen Kang spoke, recently, Jimby Group is about to make its first public offering. So Liao is appearing everywhere. I hacked into their system and found that he's trying to push out a series of real estate projects and establish a commercial area plan. With Jimmy Group's current reputation, after the first public offering, Li Ao's corporate sovereignty could be valued at up to 200 billion. Li Ping was stunned, 200 billion? So if they succeed in the first public offering, how do we compete with them? Wang Bo frowned, feeling somewhat strange. Jinbi has grown so big, and they still haven't made their first public offering? In fact, after Lai Ao took over the Zhao family business, they had the capacity for a first public offering. What's odd is that shortly after that, the Zhao family business was bought by a financial company called the Imperial Court of the Empire. Before that, according to Huang Hua, the Lei family could rise quickly because Lai Ao became the son-in-law of the Zhao family. But from what I see, there are others behind the scenes. Hong Fei chimed in. I know about this imperial court of the empire. Before, many people in our class borrowed money online, and it was from this company. Information about the imperial court of the empire is scarce. All I know is that their reputation in the financial world is significant. Their CEO is a formidable figure named Madame Lang. I heard even the Black Tiger Gang has to respect her threefold. Wang Bo pondered deeply. Even the Black Tiger Gang has to show three parts of respect. It seems the power behind Lai Ao cannot be underestimated. He opened his mouth to ask. So has Lai Ao shown any recent activity? Yes, I hacked into their system and found out they're interested in purchasing a highly sought-after piece of land recently. It's one of the newly announced hotspots, and several real estate tycoons have their eyes on it. Lai Ao is also very interested. 
If he acquires this piece of land, he can attract capital from all over, solidifying Jimmy Groot's position in the market. Lai Ping, catching a glint in his eye, thought to himself, I'll have to buy a few properties there later. Wen Chang continued, after Xingwu learned about this, they contacted various real estate companies, aiming to snatch this land during the auction, disrupting their plans. Wang Bo inquired, when does the auction start? In two hours, Wen Ching replied, can I participate in the auction as a representative of my real estate company? No problem, I can directly appoint you as the representative of my real estate company. Over an hour later, at the auction venue, the auction will start in 15 minutes. Please proceed inside. Xinghua, who was at the auction site, received a call from Wang Bo. Hello. Wang Bo, is your task done? Everything okay? I'm heading to the auction now, just giving you a heads up. Oh, why are you going to the auction today? I have something to attend to. Can't hang out with you. I won't come to play. Pretend we're not acquainted when we meet later, then just wait and see my reaction. Xinghua hung up the phone not knowing what Wang Bo was up to. When he heard Liao's voice, Xingwu, why are you here too? Upon hearing this detestable voice, Xingwu furrowed his brows and glanced back. It seems like we haven't seen each other for over half a year. We're having a celebration later. Would you like a drink? A celebration? It looks like you'll have to earn your piece of land today, huh? At this moment, several people from Xingwu's side approached, calling out to him. Liao, upon seeing them, couldn't help but taunt, inviting representatives from real estate. The most prominent figures in the city, your presence is quite grand indeed. It seems today might not be so favorable for you. Well, let's wait and see. We will definitely secure it. In fact, given our relationship, if you, Singua, are interested in real estate, you can seek cooperation with me. Honestly, between us, there's no need for fierce confrontation. We can completely let go and together establish a strong business empire. With that, we can collaborate for mutual development. I believe someone as capable as you wouldn't dwell on past matters. Lai's companion behind him mocked. Ha ha ha. Bro, it seems a bit difficult for him to forget his sister-in-law. She's so beautiful. Singhua, provoked, grabbed Lai O's collar tightly. You dog, shut your mouth, you scoundrel. You have no right to mention her. Liu Tsinghua, I've said before that one day, I'll make you beg for death, unable to die, and wish for life, but not attain it. Before Liao could respond, his younger brother behind him shouted, Hey, it's because you're incompetent that your sister-in-law left you, and now you're getting angry at me. Liao spoke up, Tsinghua, I deeply admire you, admire your love, and even more so, I admire your passionate devotion. But please, show some restraint. As he spoke, Lai El tightened his grip on Tsingwa's wrist, causing him immense pain. You wretched fool, no matter what you say, she is still my wife. I do not want others to reminisce about her, even if she's dead, even if she was pushed down the stairs by my own hands. Hearing this, Tsingwa's eyes seemed to well up, gritting his teeth. How can you be so heartless? The elderly man with a white beard beside Tsingwa spoke softly. Tsingwa. There's no need to engage in verbal combat with such a person. Remain calm. The business world is like a battlefield. Let's defeat him in the business arena. Singwo composed his emotions and replied, I understand, Pai. Liao, today I won't let you take that piece of land. Just wait and see. Lai, the young master, contemptuously retorted, Haha, what can you achieve just by talking? This land belongs to me for sure. Look at him over there. He looks like a morning house dog. Lai Ao opened his mouth. Listen up. Do you see that trash bin over there? Yeah, I see it. What about it? Lai Ao smirked. Pick up that trash bin and smash Liu Xingua's head with it. Young Master Li's forehead began to sweat. Do you want Liu Xingua to be unable to participate in the auction? Couldn't you just instruct your people to do it? They're your men, representing you. How could they do such a thing? But I... If I fail, I'll be detained. Moreover, I'm your younger brother, your representative too. Lai El suddenly grabbed his mouth to silence him. You dog, listen to me. You're just the illegitimate child born outside with another woman. I took you in just to have a dog that listens to me. Do you understand me? I won't raise a disobedient dog. Young Master Lei panicked and stuttered. I understand, 
I'll get to it right away. On this side, Sing Wu spoke to the other two. Calculate immediately how much we bid will result in a loss of capital. At that moment, the yelling voice of young Master Lai reached them. Sing Wu turned to look, seeing young Master Lai swinging the trash bin. You dog, you're dead to me. Just then, a figure rushed forward, teeth bared. The sound of impact echoed as young Master Lai cried out in pain. Wang Bo leisurely slipped his hand into his pocket. Young Master Lai, long time milk see. Why the fondness for sneaky attacks? Young Master Lai was taken aback. Wang Bo, what are you doing here? The elderly woman accompanying Singhua shouted, Quick, call security. Someone's getting violent. A subordinate approached and whispered to Lai Ao. Boss, it's him. The one who was injured by our Black Tiger gang before. Oh, it's him. This guy is not simple. His appearance here is suspicious. Young Master Lai, enduring the pain, asked, Who are you and what right do you have to be here? Wang Bo replied, I came today to see if this auction has any entertainment value. Then he glanced at Xingua. Didn't expect to encounter an old enemy here. Liu Xingua was astonished. What's this? Wang Bo, what kind of act are you pulling? Without a script, I'm quite confused. I hope you can show some backbone. Don't lose to me like last time. It would be boring. Xingua's eye twitched. Damn it, Wang Bo, what are you doing? I'm at a loss for words. Lai O chuckled. Singhua, it seems you've angered quite the character. You're probably dead now. I'll go in first. Think of a way to see if you can still get in. This time, Singhua was speechless. Wang Bo's acting skills even fooled Lai O. That's impressive. Inside the auction room, a beautiful girl stood up to preside. Welcome, everyone, to today's auction. The auction will begin immediately. Please pay attention to the numbers on your hands. Lai El observed Wang Bo intently, then said to his subordinate, Investigate that guy's background again. See if he has any connection with Liu Xinghua. If he's competing with Liu Xinghua, he might be able to push back the Black Tiger Gang. This guy is definitely not simple. Next up is our first piece of land. Starting bid is 18,088. Wang Bo silently observed everyone in the room. Not much reaction. Perhaps they're not interested in the piece of land we're vying for. I'll wait for Xingua to make a move. Then I'll cause a disturbance. Hours passed by. Wang Bo, feeling bored, dozed off. The girl on the stage clapped her hands and announced, Congratulations to the winner. Please come to the backstage to sign. Next up is the final piece of land for today's auction. Xingua glanced at Lai O muttering to himself, Take action, old fox. I won't let you have your way. Starting bid is 16,000. Each bid increment must not be less than 500. All right, this lady bids 18,000. And this gentleman bids 18,500. Lai El's subordinate whispered a reminder. As long as we don't pay more than 28,000, we can still manage. Lai El nodded and shouted out, 25,000. The crowd exclaimed, Wow, it's already at 25,000. How can we compete? Truly wealthy. It seems Jinbi Corporation is determined to get this piece of land. It's the boss's grandmother, after all. Why bother continuing? The remaining money could be spent on something else. 25,000, is there anyone willing to bid higher? Seeing no response, the girl spoke again. So, 25,000 going once, 25,000 going twice. Right at that moment, Liu Tsing was shouted, 30,000. The people in the room were stunned. Wow. He went up to 30,000. Is he crazy? He's doomed. Lai El's subordinate said awkwardly, 30,000. That's already beyond the amount of capital we can use. Liu Tsingua sneered. You all wait and see. Lai El muttered angrily. You want to play with me? He raised the bidding sign. 32,000. His subordinate exclaimed in horror. Boss, calm down. It's already way too much. Singua said to the elderly woman beside him, Help me calculate how much should the winning bid be to ensure profit afterward. If the winning bid exceeds 45,000, we'll incur a loss. If the winning bid is indeed this high, I'm afraid the chairman's side will. I don't care as long as we don't incur a loss. I must get this piece of land. I lost to him once before. I can't lose again this time. Singua immediately shouted, 40,000. Lai El's subordinate inquired. 
This has far exceeded our initial estimate. Boss, should we? Lai O gritted his teeth. Find Madame Lang. 40,000. Anyone bidding higher than 40,000. The girl looked at Xingwa with interest. Truly worthy of the Liu family's hair. Each time he raises the bid, it's significantly higher than his opponent's. Very decisive. Anyone bidding higher? If not, 40,000 going once. Lai O raised his voice. I bid 42,000. Xingwa looked back in astonishment. How does this guy have so much liquidity? Madame Lang has agreed to lend us the money. She wants to take 5% of our daily profit. Upon hearing this figure, Lai O couldn't help but cover his face. This old lady is really playing her cards right. But now that Liu Xingwu has raised the land price, as long as we get through this period, the corporation will become the focal point of the whole city. At that time, the city's wealth will come knocking our door. The girl asked, It's now at 42,000. Anyone bidding higher? In her mind, she thought, it seems that Jimby Corporation is still wealthy. This chairman is indeed decisive. Though not as flashy as young Master Liu, he has a more solid physique. If I could have a rendezvous with either of them, I wouldn't regret it even if I died. Lai El's subordinate angrily scolded. Hey, four eyes, what are you spacing out for? Hurry up and count. The girl quickly regained her composure and said, All right, sorry for the delay. 42,000 going once. 42,000. Before she could finish, Singwa shouted out, 45,000. The bid is now at 45,000. Anyone bidding higher? Boss, that Liu Xingwa is obviously determined to snatch that piece of land. No matter how high you bid, he'll match it. Lai El remained silent, looking down at Xingwa. Xingwa looked up and said, Come on, Lai El. Let's see who the ultimate winner is. Lai El gritted his teeth in anger. Liu Xingwa. You dog. The elderly woman next to Xingwa said, Boss, the chairman is calling. It seems he knows about your actions at today's auction. Xingwa's heart sank. Indeed, his eyes are everywhere. Xingwa, are you crazy? Using company assets to compete for a piece of land we haven't even planned for. Dad believes in you. This piece of land is definitely valuable. Damn it, don't think I don't know you're doing this for that woman. The board has decided to kick you out of the company. You no longer have the right to use the corporation's funds. Handle it yourself, boss. What do we do now? Damn it, even if we win this piece of land, we won't have the money to buy it anymore. The girl raised the hammer and announced, 45,000 once. Boss, what do we do now? It's our plan about to go bankrupt. 45,000 twice. Boss, there's no support from the board of directors. Your assets under your name are only 10 billion. Basically not enough to cover for this piece of land. 45,000 three times. Just as the girl was about to strike the hammer, Wang Bo suddenly shouted, 50,000. Both Lai Ao and Liu Xingwo looked back in astonishment, and the people in the room began to whisper and discuss. Why did he bid 50,000? Is he some kind of saint? What's his intention? Now that the bid is at 50,000, is there anyone bidding higher? Wang Bo sat back triumphantly and the man in a suit next to him sweated profusely while looking at him. The old man sitting right next to me, he's always asleep. I thought he came here just for fun. So 50,000 once. Lai El whispered, used the previous method to disrupt the auction. Yes, boss. This man immediately stood up and shouted, Hey, 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 why is the bidding always so slow, huh? Is it intentional? Some nearby murmured upon hearing this. It's Lai's signal. Let's start. Then a group of people stood up and shouted, I've noticed too. This auctioneer is a bit strange. How much did she bribe you? Look at her appearance. She must be the boss's mistress here. She's bidding slowly to squeeze money out of us. The girl was astonished. Why are these people suddenly causing chaos? Could it be because I called out the bid slowly? The elderly woman next to Xingwa said, These people are the kind who stir up trouble in auctions. It seems they want to play tricks. Wang Bo frowned. These people are all arranged by Lai El, but what's his intention? Wang Bo glanced at Lai El. Does he really want to get this piece of land? Then why isn't he continuing to bid? The girl raised the hammer and continued. 50,000 three times. Hey, this bidder seems shady. Hurry up and strike the hammer. Don't prolong the time anymore. Congratulations to this guest. It's a deal. Just as the girl was about to strike the hammer down, 
Li Al immediately shouted, 51,000. He had just shouted when the hammer came down, startling the girl. Am I mistaken? Someone just said 51,000. Wine Bo widened his eyes. What? Another trick. Sing Wu stood up angrily. Li Ao, what are you doing? You should announce your bid after the hammer falls. Li Ao replied, I bid before the hammer fell. I suspect something fishy about this auctioneer. This staff must have received money from someone else. The girl hesitated and waved her hand. Don't blame others. It's clear that I struck the hammer before you announced your bid. Is there no surveillance camera in the hall? Let's play it back again, shall we? Wang Bo thought to himself. Lai Ao is cunning. Seizing the opportunity to bid at the right moment. This girl is in trouble. Then, the auction footage was replayed, and nothing unexpected happened. The girl was reprimanded by the boss, and the footage was played back more than ten times. It seems that it's indeed a mistake on the part of our auctioneer. There might be something fishy after all. My desired piece of land was bid up to such a high price. There must be someone playing tricks. Sinwa shouted, Li Ao, it's obvious that you're playing tricks. First, you would cite chaos among the bidders, and then take advantage of her confusion to raise the bid. What's your intention? Hey kid, why are you saying that? Accusing us of taking money to cause trouble. This auction has someone playing tricks. Everyone can feel it. Don't talk nonsense. I can sue you for defamation. That's right. I see it too. There must be strict consequences. Seeing everyone arguing because of this, the boss turned to blame the girl. Look at the trouble you've caused. Now how we handle this? I'm sorry, Mr. Boss. You must help me. I'm telling you, it's enough. Making things difficult for a girl. If there's a problem, we can just re-auction it. Or consider the bidder didn't say deal and continue the auction. Your bid was 51,000, right? I'll add 1,000. The other boss hastily said, Sir, this is not in line with the rules. Young man, this matter cannot be handled casually. It should still be reported to the police and the land can be auctioned off on another day. Sing Wu spoke up. Lai El, you finally reveal your foxtail. Huh. Doing so many things, aren't you just trying to prolong the auction? As you said anyway, today's transaction is invalid. Call the police to handle it. The girl fell helplessly to her knees. Please forgive me. Don't call the police. If you call the police, my career as an auctioneer will be ruined. Wang Bo walked up to the girl and reached out his hand. Don't be afraid. Calm down. Stand up and speak. Rest assured you'll be fine. I'll help you handle this. The girl looked at Wang Bo with gratitude. This guy is so gentle, handsome too. Don't cry anymore. I'm most afraid of girls crying. Wang Bo helped the girl up and then turned to Li O. Oh, Li, I have an idea. Why don't we go somewhere else to talk? If you have a solution, you can suggest it for reference. Xinghua hastily spoke up. Hey, hey, you guys shouldn't do this. There's nothing that can't be said here. After all, the auction doesn't necessarily have to involve two people. Wang Bo rubbed his chin. You have a point. Doing so is really unreasonable. But now this piece of land has been sold to me already. Mr. Lai here proposes an objection. You keep repeating. Can you really afford it? Sinwa's face looked puzzled. Wang Bo, what are you doing? Lai Ao smirked. He's right. This is our business. You shouldn't interfere. You're in charge of the auction. Can you ask everyone to leave? The other boss nodded and then spoke up. So please everyone, step out. Let them negotiate a solution. The elderly lady walked alongside Xinghua and said, Boss, let's go outside. Xinghua whispered to Wang Bo. Wang Bo. Don't ruin this. Wang Bo winked and nodded, making Tsing Wu feel a bit uneasy. This guy's gaze is quite sharp. All right, it's just the two of us left now. How do you want to handle this? Hurry up, anything else you want. Seeing you smoking makes me want to try too. My mouth has some cigarettes. Do you want to try? No, we young people don't bother with this stuff. Seeing Wang Bo's disdain, the subordinate quickly spoke up. These are the best Cuban cigars, not ordinary ones. So what about mine? I still have some American goods, the 1010 green hat chewing gum. After eating it, you can make others jealous. Lai Ao laughed out loud. Ha ha, interesting. This is indeed better than cigarettes. You should have some more. The subordinate's eyes twitched. This guy is really bold, daring to provoke the boss. 
Stop babbling and settle your grudges with the boss's younger brother. You know how much the boss favors him. Thank you for taking the time to watch my video. If you enjoyed the content, please don't hesitate to hit the like and share buttons. Your support is a huge motivation for me to continue creating more videos. Additionally, there are many other interesting story videos on my channel, so feel free to check them out. Thank you.